Hi everyone! Today, we are going to be using the foam roller in our Pilates workout. Now, the foam roller is traditionally used for myofascial release of the muscles and to roll out tight areas in your body. Now, the foam roller, especially the long one, can also be used in your Pilates workout to activate your core very quickly. So today, I am going to design a short workout for you to just quickly wake up the core muscles, activate your transversus abdominis with just a few simple exercises. Let's get started. We're going to start with a 90 centimeter foam roller and you're going to place it in the center of your mat. Take a seat right at the end of the roller in this way. Now, starting to roll down very gently using your arms at the side of your body to support. Once you're lying down lengthwise on the roller, make sure that your head is fully supported on the roller and so is your hip or your sacrum. Now, we're going to place our pelvis into a neutral position and this is a chance for you to really find that nice little space at the lower back at the same time keeping your hips level to the ground. Just a quick note before I start the exercises, the closer your legs are to each other, the harder the exercise becomes for you. Alright, so decide for yourself how unstable you want to subject your body to. Now from here, we're going to breathe in, lift up your arms, and exhale, circle down to the sides. Breathe in again, exhale to circle down, and again inhale, this is a lovely stretch for your pecs as well, and four, and circle down, let's reverse, breathe in, exhale and release, palms facing up, exhaling down, and three, exhale, and four, Exhale. Now from here, we're going to stay in neutral position. Lift up one leg up to tabletop and followed by the opposite arm. You're going to inhale to stretch your arm and leg up. Exhale to come back in. Breathe in for two. Exhale. And for three. Maintaining a nice connection around your transversus abdominis. And for five. And return. Place your hands and knees down and feet down. And then from here, find your balance first and then lift up the opposite arm and leg. Holding your balance for a second. Inhale to stretch one and return. Two and release. Three and release. And four and return. And last one, five and return. Lower down. We're going to go back to the opposite side again. Finding your balance, maintaining neutral spine. Now from here, we're going to take a breath in and reach your arms and legs out. Exhale, I'm going to curl up and do a gentle rotation to the opposite side of the legs. Inhale to stretch again. Exhale, curl up too. This is a quick way to fire up your obliques. Three. Breathe in. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Exhale, five. We're going to do eight. Reach. And six. Breathe in, exhale 7, and lengthen, and exhale 8, hold it there for a second, come back to the center, and bend your knees, place your head and legs down. From here, finding your balance still, picking up the opposite arm and leg gently, finding your balance for a second, now breathe in to reach away, exhale, curl up and twist to the opposite side now, inhale to lengthen, exhale 2. Breathe in three, exhale twist, and inhale four, and exhale curl up, and breathe in five, and reach, and six, exhale twist, and seven, and reach, and last one, exhale rotate. Now come back to the center, stretch it out, bend your knees, place the feet and the arms down. From here, I'm going to find my balance again with my legs and hands behind the back of my head now. Take a deep breath in and still maintaining neutral pelvis. I'm going to nod my chin, curl up my body and look between my knees. Inhale to stay, exhale to lower down. And again, breathe in, soften my chin down, curl up and hold it there. Stay and exhale to lengthen down. And again, breathe in, soften my chin down, exhale, curl up. Having the arms behind your head, 
supports your neck a little bit more but it does add weight to your abdominals and release it back down last one and breathe in not your chin curl up and hold it there now from here stay there finding your balance reaching out your arms take a breath in for those of you who are comfortable try to keep up one leg and lower down stay and finding your balance and lift and slowly coming back down and again lift it up keep reaching your fingertips and pressing firmly into your feet and lower down and reach still keeping your upper body curled up and reach and let's try one last set and lift up and put your feet down and last one and hold it there lower your head and shoulders down to rest now from here we're going to open your arms a bit wider i'm going to tilt my hips into a posterior tilt with a deeper connection on my obliques now lifting up one leg and followed by the other leg we're going to keep double leg up in the air take a deep breath in let's start with a single leg stretch first we're going to go inhale inhale exhale exhale now as my legs are working my arms are pressing lightly into the mat and reach and reach exhale okay so as i work my legs i'm going to keep it very controlled in my movements so i don't throw myself off when i do so now coming back to center we're going to take a breath in and let's do double leg reaching out and back and exhale two still maintaining your balance on the foam roller three breathe in and four inhale and exhale five now from here ladies and gentlemen we're gonna curl up the body and let's go for your single leg first inhale inhale exhale each one we're only gonna do five sets breathe breathe exhale exhale in in exhale let me see the energy through your toes breathe exhale exhale last one and one exhale exhale come back to the center take a little breather inhale exhale not your chin set up your upper body again now let's finish with double leg stretch reaching out control in take it slower for this exercise focusing on flattening your tummy muscles three breathe in reaching out four and one more time and five come back to stay curl up the body a little bit more and lower down your head and shoulders carefully place the feet down good we're going to move on into your roll up I'd like you to open your legs a bit wider and then walk them slightly further away from the roller now this exercise is going to be a lot more challenging because you're going to peel yourself off the roller so be careful and use your hands in tandem all right let's begin arms over your head now make sure your body is still aligned with the roller breathe in to raise your hands up exhale i'm going to peel my body up slowly finding my balance pressing into my feet from here, I inhale to stay and exhale. I'm going to slowly roll down. As I roll down, I'm pressing into my feet. I'm reaching strongly through my arms until my body comes back down safely and I bring my arms back. Breathe in again, raising my arms up to the ceiling first. Exhale, not the chin and peel up slowly. Focus. This forces you to really use the abdominals without any momentum. All right? And then rolling down scoop the tummy keep pressing into your feet focus on lengthening through the center of your spine and let's do one more time breathe in not your chin exhale peel remember don't rush if you need to you can hold on to your thighs to support you on the way up breathe in and exhale i'm going to finish strong rolling down two three four Go your arms down and take a short break. I'm going to just allow myself to come off the roller. And this time around, I'm going to place the roller underneath my feet. And we're going to go into some activation of the glutes and the back core muscles. All right, so place your feet now on the roller in this way, about hip distance apart, making sure that your pelvis is still in neutral. From here, I'd like you to relax your arms on the sides, shoulders wide. Inhale to wrap your core muscles tightly. Exhale, pick the hips up into a bridge position. In this position, stay. Make sure that your weight is rested across the shoulders and not so much on the neck. And then exhale, I lower my hips down with control. 
Breathe in, pressing firmly into my feet. Exhale to lift up. The challenge here, everyone, is to maintain balance, making sure your knees are pointing away from you, and then exhale, lower the bottom down. Breathe in again. Exhale, engage your core muscles and lift the hips up, hold. Inhale, energize into your feet. Exhale to lower down with control. And last two, inhale. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, stay. And then exhale, folding at the hips, lower down with control. And one more time, exhale, we lift up and hold. Now, as we engage the glutes, guys, the lower back is also working hard to maintain the stability for you. Inhale, stay. And then exhale, lower the hips down. Now, if you are comfortable, we are going to progress to your shoulder bridge with the full work with the legs. Here we go. Inhale to stay. Exhale, lift the bum up and hold. Pick up one leg first and then place it straight down. And then adjust and then pick up the other leg and lower it down. Continue for three. Maintaining the height of your hips as much as possible. Four. Maintaining the stability of the roller. Five and down keep going everyone six and down last two and down one more now we're going to add on the choreography of the legs inhale to bend and stretch flex your ankles lower one and lift two and lift three and hold it there bend place your feet down now lift your bum up in the air let's finish up strong with the other side bend and stretch flex and lower one Point and lift, and two, remember, keep the height of your hips, three, and point and hold it there, bend the knees, place the feet down, and give your butt a little bit more of a lift, and exhale, lower the hips straight down, and recover. Now from here, I'm going to just gently push the roller away, reach my hands over my head, breathe in, lift my arms, and curl my body off the ground. Sit up nice and tall, bend my knees, and take the roller in my hands. The next exercise, we're going to go into rolling like a ball, holding the roller between your palms. From here, we scoop the tummy in. Lift one leg up, followed by the other leg. The roller is going to go over the knees, and you're going to nod your chin forward. From here, inhale to scoop back. Exhale and balance. Now hold it there, lengthen up into a V-shape, and roll back down. Curl back. Two, exhale, finding your balance. From here, straighten your knees and lengthen your upper back and raise your arms and flex forward. Inhale to roll back for three. Exhale, balance on your hips. And then from here, breathe in. Exhale, round. Two more to go. Scoop back. Exhale to balance on your hips and hold. Inhale to reach into your V-shape. Exhale to curl. And one last time, roll back. Exhale to balance. Inhale to lengthen up and exhale, hold it there. Now place your feet down carefully, roll it down and recover. Now I'd like you to bring your foam roller behind you. I'm just going to add a little advanced exercise here for those of you who want a challenge, okay? Place your palms facing up against the roller. Deepen the scoop on your abdominals. Lift up the legs up into tabletop again. Now from here, we're just going to attempt three times of your rollover, alright? So reach your legs away, inhale, lift up. Now use your abs to peel. Open the legs, roll it down. Keep reaching your fingertips away. So the roller in this position gives you feedback. Breathe in, but it also adds the challenge. Open the legs, roll it down. Because you don't have your arms anymore to press down on the sides to get you up and over. Last one to go, and hinge. Keep pressing your back of your palms into the roller. Peel it up. Pull your balance. Open the legs up and roll it down as slowly as you can. Good. Join your legs together. Bend and recover. Now, let's get you to turn around. On your front, we're going to go into your back core muscles right now. We're going to use the swan dive to activate our back muscles. Palms facing down. Legs will be turned out and a little bit wider than your hip distance apart. From here, palms facing outwards to begin. Inhale, draw the shoulders down. Start to rotate your palms in as you extend your spine up to your pubic bone. Inhale, 
exhale to release and stretch out. Take a breath in again, shoulders depressed. Exhale, rotate your palms as you gently pick the upper body up into a full swan dive. Inhale to hold the position. Exhale, as you lengthen down, you reach your fingers away. You reach your toes away. One more. Inhale, shoulders down again. Rotate your palms as you lift up. Inhale to stay. And exhale to lengthen and reach, stretching out your entire body. Now from here, I'm going to adjust my hands just a little closer. I'm going to go into the swan dive with the rocking. So draw the shoulders back. Start to rotate your palms again and lift up. Now this is your starting position, guys. Remember, energize your legs here. And here we go. Rock it forward. One and up. Two. Now with the roller, it feels great because it helps me to come up a little bit higher. And five. And six, remember, keep the shape of your body. Seven, reach your toes up. Eight, as you rock forward. Nine, and hold. Now from here, slowly lengthen the spine. Bring your body down into a long, low line. Shoulders down, and then lift your legs up. And let's finish with some swimming. All right, here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Keep your upper back active. And in, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four. 4, 20 in, 2, 3, 4, 5 and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 30 in, 2, 3, 4, 5 and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 40, last 2, 3, 4, 5 and exhale, 2, 3, 4, 50, lift the body up gently, exhale to lengthen the spine down and let's finish with your shell stretch, place your knees under you. You can also use the roller with your shell stretch, which feels amazing. Take a deep breath in, roll the roller away. You're going to feel the roller taking you a bit further. Roll it up. Breathe in. Exhale, roll it forward again and stretch. Inhale. Exhale to roll yourself up. And recover. Shake out the shoulders. We're almost done guys, we just have your side lying exercises and your full body work later. Here we go, side lying position, we are going to lie with the side of the hips on the roller. Come onto our elbows and from here I'd like you to make sure that you find a comfortable spot to place your hips on, otherwise this exercise will be torturous for you. Alright, so I'm going to find my centre of gravity first and you should be able to have your body in a side plank lifting your two legs off the ground this way. So make sure you find that nice, stable position before you lift your arms up. Okay, if you prefer to keep your arms down, go for it. We're going to start first with your leg circle of the top leg. Take a deep breath in and lift the top leg a little higher. Bottom leg stays active and we're going to circle gently with the top leg. One, two, three. Let's keep it nice and symmetrical. Four, five, six, Seven, your core muscles are still activating, firing up. Eight, pause and reverse. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now from here, bring the two legs together. We're going to try this with the arms off, all right? Let's do your scissors. Take a breath in to bring one leg forward and one leg back. Exhale, switch, and inhale, two. And three, and four, and five, and six. Your legs are straight and strong. Seven, one more to go. Eight, and come back to the center. Breathe in and relax. Let's go to the other side now. From here, again, find a position on your hips. Make sure that you're on your elbows. Okay. And once you're ready, pick up your two legs to make sure that you can maintain your balance here. And then once you're ready, we're going to lift the top leg just a little higher and let's circle to the back. One and two. Breathe in and out. Three and four. Don't forget that your bottom waistline is very active. Five, six, seven. Look far away from yourself. Eight. Now hold and reverse. One. Two, remember the bottom leg is very active. Three 
and four and five and six and seven and eight now two legs together hold your balance for a while pick up your top hand energize your toes here we go with scissors one leg back and one leg front and switch and two and two remember to keep pushing your elbows into the mat so that you're not sinking into your shoulders four and four and five and five keep going six and six and seven breathe out and eight and eight now come back to the center take a breath and release it down good job everyone let's finish up with some core muscle work coming onto your hands and knees now i'd like you to place the bottom of your knees where the shin bone is on the roller and place your palms on the ground in this way so make sure that your whole body forms a little rectangular shape before you start this make sure your spine is neutral abdominals are holding tight inhale to stay exhale we're going to reach up one arm and one leg and then coming back down and balance and again exhale reaching the opposite arm and leg away breathe in and return i am going to imagine i have a cup of coffee on my back and i'm trying not to spill it all right so my core muscles have to hold tightly to keep the midsection nice and strong and reach and down and reach and down one more set to go lengthen and return last one and lengthen and return now for those of you who are comfortable i'd like you to try this variation let your toes come off first reaching one leg out finding your balance hold your tummy muscles tightly and then very carefully pick up the opposite arm and stay five seconds four three two one whew, and place it down that was not easy yeah let's try the other side now once you're ready pick up your opposite leg and tighten your core muscles eyes looking straight down and very carefully energize your opposite arm and hold it up there for five four three two one and then place it down and rest good let's finish up with the omega we're going to place the roller a little bit lower down the shin bone walk your hands forward again and then from here we're going to lengthen your spine and your body into a plank position legs squeeze together take a deep breath in to hold your core muscles exhale curl from the tailbone rounding the lower back and pull the roller in inhale i'm gonna lengthen and stretch out exhale curl again scoop the tummy in inhale to lengthen from the tail to my head and round up for three inhale to stretch and grow and curl it up for four breathe in to stretch it out and exhale round the lower back for five do it nice and slow guys three more and curl it up for six and lengthen hang in there curl it up scoop the tummy in for seven stay focused growing through the crown of your head and last one and curl now hold it up pull your tummy muscles in for five seconds four three two one and then release it back good job everyone let's finish with our stretches from here i just have a few simple ones for you we're going to start with your roller now under your palms and i want you to release down into a nice stretch for the shoulders reaching through your fingers keeping your butt sticking up to the ceiling now roll it back scoop the tummy bring the roller back to your fingertips and then roll it forward again articulate your spine lift the butt lower the chest and roll it up and one more time and flex your body forward stretch it up take a deep breath in and exhale to roll up stacking up the hip the spine and recover great job everyone let's finish up with a side bend as well we're going to sit in your mermaid's position this way and with your palm on top of the roller breathe in exhale we're going to reach over you know this feels a lot like using the reformer so for those of you who are missing the reformer in the gym 
This is a simple exercise that you could do. And breathe in and exhale. One more time and inhale. And as I get into my side bend, don't forget that my opposite hip keeps reaching down to the mat so that I can increase the stretch of my QL and my obliques. Coming back to center and recover. And let's change sides. Switch your legs around to the other way. And now from here, just having one palm on the roller. Breathe in. Exhale, think of an up and over feeling. Always imagine that you're creating space at your lower waist. Inhale to lengthen from tail to head. Exhale down. Breathe in again. Exhale to stretch, lengthen. And inhale to grow from tail to head. Exhaling, release. And last one. Take a breath in. And exhale to reach. Mm. And inhale, you're growing from tail to head. And exhale, recover and relax. Thank you, everyone. And that was your foam roller workout for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.